this week in the field, why misty clouds are just awesome. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Davenport and welcome to In the Field. Thanks for joining me today. I was going through some older footage, old in air quotes, I guess, a few months ago. I was up in Oregon. I took a bunch of you know, behind the scenes type stuff and was revisiting some of the video I took out at Sisters Rock. It was a, kind of an impromptu stop along the way. It was, it was midday. I wasn't really sure about what types of condition I was going to get. But this outcropping of land looked kind of cool. And so headed out there. Uh, let me show you some of the footage and then uh, talk about why this turned into be uh, one of my favorite stops along the way. Does some scouting along the coast of Oregon. Stopped at Three Sisters Rock, or maybe it's just Sisters Rock. I'm honestly not sure. But what I am sure about is it's just a, a gorgeous location. And the way that the, uh, the different rolling hills, these just all like fold in and fit in and nestle in with each other. And I get a few photos here, scout on in there, check things out, and see about getting some nice views of that coast as well. The light is just doing gorgeous things here. Just alone, it almost looks like a black and white scene. That's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm actually doing um, longer exposures. I have the 10 stop plus a polarizer on there. So I'm getting about ooh, 11 to 12 stops down, maybe 15 to 17 second exposures, just dragging everything out. And I, I'm envisioning these silhouetted sea stacks and this beautiful glow that's just happening off in the horizon. Um, you know, this is middle of the day, it's almost noon, but you know, good light is good light no matter what time of the day it is. So the, the thing that was incredibly surprising was that even though this was nearly high noon, the fact that there was a lot of just misty swirling clouds in the sky, they were all uh, thick but thin. It's hard to describe, that, but it just made this incredible atmosphere in the sky and throughout the whole scene. And it gave me a lot of things to compose with. You know, I had these wonderful rocks in the ocean and so forth, but there were interesting shapes and they continually changed. The light just kept shifting. And, uh, you know, just, you know, good light is good light. And, you know, normally I, I wouldn't be out at high noon trying to shoot. But with this particular kind of conditions, if you've got these, you know, misty swirling clouds, it's almost like like high fog. The, the ground layer wasn't foggy, but, you know, up in the atmosphere, you know, a few thousand feet in the air, I suppose, maybe higher. It, it was just fantastic and it just continually changing really made the scene very, very interesting to work with. I processed one of the photos from Sisters Rock so far. Now, I actually did this as a live edit maybe 10 or so videos ago. I'll put the link uh, below this video so you can go find it. It's a bit of a long one, so fair warning. Uh, you know, it's, I think it was about 30 minutes, but uh, I wrestled with the, with the image. But I, you know, I came away with something I'm very happy with, and uh, you can go check out that video to see all the the backstory of why I chose to process things in certain ways. And so the tip of the week is if you see misty, kind of smoky, swirly type clouds, it doesn't matter what time of day, get outside and shoot because you're probably going to get some interesting light. You know, find a good subject and just go from there. So don't let time of day always dictate when you get outside with your camera. And that's going to do it for today's In the Field video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please share this with a friend. Uh, the social shares are always appreciated. Questions are great. Comments, plus ones, likes, all that stuff is awesome. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport and happy shooting. Uh, today, I went through some... Uh, blah, 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 blah,